Hi, we're Mindy and Mandy. We are going to show you how to hack with mascara. I am going to be using the Quad Compact. It includes my highlight, my contour, my blush, and my illuminator. I will be using the Detail Hack Brush to apply my highlight, my contour, and my blush with. I also will be using the Stay Spray. There are different ways to blend with mascara and I will be demonstrating the Perfector Sponge. Mandy will be hacking from a mini double decker. The mini double decker is included when you purchase 10 singles. And here she is going to use two highlights, a contour and a blush. She will be hacking today with the Power Powder Brush. This end here is for the highlight and this end is for the contour. Other mascara products that we use on a daily basis are the Stay Spray. We use this as a primer and a setting spray when we're done. We also love the B Squared Bronzer Brush to blend. It is very important to start with a clean dry face. We really like these makeup wipes from mascara. We then take the Stay Spray and do three sprays across the face. Be sure to let it completely dry a good 30 to 45 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and take you through the hack process with us. Again, Mindy is using the Quad Compact that has the highlight, the contour, the blush, the illuminator, and she'll be using the Detail Hack. And Mandy will be hacking with the Power Powder Brush today. She is going to be using her Mini Double Decker. She's going to use two different highlights. The lighter color is gonna go right up under her eyes and the darker color of highlights is gonna go triangles under her eyes. And we're gonna brush up on both sides. After you've brushed up on both sides, you want to go down the bridge of the nose, across the lower part of the forehead, above the lip, on the chin, and then enhance that jawline with that highlight color. The highlight color is going to bring out those features in our face that we want to bring out. When we go on to the contour color, which will be next, it's everything we want to shadow in our face, which only enhances that light more. Now onto the contour. The contour is the darkest color. It's going to shadow, which is only gonna enhance that light more. Mandy will be using indigo and Mindy will be using ash. Go ahead and start by making a fish face and right under that natural cheekbone that we all have, you're gonna to wanna to just put a small line there. The next step with the contour is to frame out the face. I like to use a thicker part of the detail hack brush and frame out the face, come down and meet up with that line that you just made under your cheekbones. Now, as you can see, Mandy is getting a little more dramatic look using a darker contour color. That is preference. Again, I am using ash and Mandy is using indigo for her contour. Once you have framed out the face, you'll wanna go under the jawline. Remember how we put the light there for the highlight. You wanna make sure that you go under to cause a shadowing effect that only enhances that jawline more, and then go down the sides of the neck. Switching over to the thinnest side of the detail hack, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose. We have been using two of the seven brushes that mascara offers, all of them double-ended, giving you 14 brushes. Mandy here is using the Power Powder Brush, and I have been using the Detail Hack. Four of these seven brushes are used to highlight and contour with. There are many different ways to apply the mascara product. Mandy here is going to show you how she likes to blend as she goes. She has applied her highlight and her contour color and then she is going to blend before applying her blush. Again, she is using the color indigo, which is the darkest that mascara offers. She is using this color to show you the dramatic look that mascara can give you. Again, that is all preference. If you want the more natural look, we suggest going with a lighter contour color. Mascara will be one layer of 3D foundation on your face. Everywhere two colors come together, it's really important to take time to blend those lines. Here, Mandy is demonstrating how it's important to make sure you do a U-shape rather than just a straight line. 
The third step with mascara is to apply that blush color. I will be using sandstone, using my detail hack, and pressing it right there on the apples of the cheeks. A little bit of blush can go a long way. I will go ahead and blend with the Perfector sponge now. There are different ways to blend with mascara. Mandy earlier was demonstrating how to use the B squared bronzer. I am going to demonstrate how to use the Perfector sponge. With the Perfector sponge, you'll want to run it underwater, wring it out really well, wrap it up in a paper towel, give it another squeeze, take it out, spray, stay spray on it, and then go ahead and blend. Again, you'll have just one layer of makeup on your face. Everywhere two colors come together, it's really important to make sure that you take time to blend those lines. Mandy will be using the color Black Cherry for her cheeks. She uses her B-squared bronzer brush, barely dips into that blush color there, and presses it on the apples of her cheeks. She'll turn the brush around and go ahead and blend with that same brush. The fourth step with mascara is the illuminator. I'm going to go ahead and use pearl. You can take your finger and just go right under your eyes, below the brow, down the bridge of the nose, and above that lip. Mandy here is demonstrating how to blend it all together again with that B squared bronzer brush. I'm going to go ahead and grab my detail hack and just blend it all together for a dewy finished look. And there you have it. The fun thing about blush is that it is lip and cheek, so go ahead and switch it up, pick another color of blush, and use it for your lips. If you haven't been color matched, we'd love to do that for you. We can do that by a picture of you standing in natural light with no foundation on, or we can do it face to face. We are confident that you will love this simple way of highlighting and contouring that enhances our natural beauty. Please reach out, comment below with any questions, and we will get right back with you.